This presentation regards transrectal ultrasound guided prostate biopsy and what you need to know to be prepared for the minor procedure. Indications for transrectal ultrasound guided prostate biopsy include elevated PSA, rising PSA, and part of active surveillance protocols for men with known prostate cancer. Where is the procedure performed? The procedure usually is performed in your urologist's office or an ambulatory surgical center. These are usually adjacent to your urologist's office or in close proximity. These centers are specifically designed for outpatient procedures. Some patients, due to underlying medical conditions, may need their procedure performed in a hospital. What are the risks of this procedure? The two most important risks with the transrectal ultrasound-guided prostate biopsy are infection and bleeding. A sign of infection may be fever. This can include urinary tract infection or even sepsis, which is severe infection, which may require hospital admission. This occurs in less than 1% of patients. The other major risk is bleeding. This can come from the rectum, in the urine, or in the semen. Most men should expect some form of blood from the rectum, in the urine, and in the semen. However, significant bleeding is also a potential side effect. You may also experience mild discomfort. What does the procedure entail? The patient is brought into the procedure room and placed on the table. Most men are placed on their side, which is called the lateral decubitus position. Some men are placed on their back in the lithotomy position, like a woman at a gynecologist. An ultrasound probe will then be inserted into the rectum with a lubricant. The urologist will then look at the prostate with the ultrasound and make measurements to size the prostate. The urologist will look for any abnormal lesions of the prostate. The doctor will then guide a small needle by the ultrasound probe to inject a local anesthetic on both sides of the prostate. The doctor will then guide a small needle guided by the ultrasound to inject a local anesthetic on both sides of the prostate. Next, your doctor will use the ultrasound to perform the biopsies using a biopsy instrument. The instrument fires the needle in and out quickly such that pain is reduced. It may make a loud clicking sound. How many biopsies? Depending on the ultrasound itself, your doctor will determine the number of biopsies. On average, there are 12 biopsies performed. How long will it take? The procedure itself usually takes approximately 15 minutes. Plan to arrive at least 30 minutes prior to your procedure. You do not usually need a ride home unless this is being done under anesthesia. Is there any special preparation? You can eat right up to the time of the procedure. Most physicians recommend stopping aspirin and blood thinners five to seven days prior to the procedure. Never stop these blood thinners without discussing this with your primary care physician. Your physician will provide you with an antibiotic to take the morning of the procedure and likely after the procedure as well. Depending on your physician, you may also get an antibiotic injection just prior to the procedure. Some doctors prefer that patients take an enema the morning of the procedure. What to expect after the procedure? You will likely see blood in the urine, and it may last for several days. You may have some blood from the rectum that will also last for several days. You will also likely see blood in the semen or the ejaculate fluid. This may last for several weeks. Drink plenty of fluids to help flush out the blood. You may have mild burning with urination that usually lasts a day or two. Usually Tylenol will help with this. You should be able to resume almost all activities immediately within the first few days. When to call your doctor. If you have a fever greater than 101.5, chills, severe pain unresponsive to pain medication, inability to urinate, lightheadedness or dizziness, or large amounts of blood from the rectum or in the urine. How do I schedule the procedure? A surgical scheduler will give you a date. Usually this date will be within two to three weeks as we need to obtain pre-authorization from your insurance company. Pre-authorization. The pre-authorization process is essential. We will communicate with your insurance to determine your coverage and any co-payments or deductibles that you may owe. We will provide you with an estimate of any charges that you may incur. All charges are due prior to the procedure. Payment plans can be arranged as well. Should you have any questions regarding your procedure or recovery, please contact your urologist office.